and Morty, season seven, episode one. Oh, what did I think? Ooh, wee, let's talk about it. Well, friends, I am the man you may know as he from Our Reviews Will Kill You, and I'm here to talk a little bit about Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty, baby! Oh, that's right, season seven with all new cast. Well, not all new cast, but the two most important characters being recast. We can even look at it now. We can, we can see it. We can talk about it. Variety has revealed the two new characters. Let's take a look. Rick and Morty's replacements for Justin Roiland revealed in the premiere. Ian Cardoni is the new voice of Rick Sanchez, and Harry Belden is Morty Smith. And guess what, folks? They're just fine. Do a fine job, those two fellas. Uh, in the season premiere, Morty is barely in it at all, so he sounds a little off, but you don't get much of it. And then you get Rick. He does very, very good, sincere Rick. When it comes to being like crazy Rick, I think he's a little too constrained, a little nervous about screwing it up, but sounds fine. But the bigger problem is again, Dan Harmon is still on the show, and I don't know where his writers went. Well, we know where his writers went. They went to other things. <laughs> they went to go ruin She-Hulk. I don't know. Maybe it was Lightning in a Bottle, the original Rick and Morty. It's just mid at this point. It's just not that interesting. I think I laughed out loud once where I used to think the show was absolutely hysterical, like joke per minute. That's what they used to talk about, jokes per minute. Now I'm, I must be missing something. And woo did they pull out all the stats because they brought in, I don't even know why, they brought in Hugh Jackman for some reason to do, he plays Hugh Jackman so he can make a bunch of Wolverine jokes. Let's get into the plot and full spoilers just to talk a little bit about it, just for me to give my assessment of what was happening here. We're going to go to comic book so they can tell us, uh, comicbook.com so they can tell us what the plot was because it's basically an intervention for Mr. Poopy Butthole, my least favorite character on Rick and Morty to begin with. And I think that's one of the problems I'm going to find with the show in general is they don't really, they think the fans want certain things where I I never liked Mr. Poopy Butthole. I think he's kind of annoying and I think he was an intentional troll. And now they're like going to make an entire episode about him and make him part of Rick's gang. And I just, the point of Rick's gang is not that Rick's gang is cool or fun or interesting. The point of them is they're all jokes and it's not like a thing. And they keep diving hard into it. And it's like, if you remember the first like five seasons or three seasons, you got maybe one episode with them and you moved on and they never went back to them because they weren't trying to create something like that. And yeah, you can go back to mythology, but, uh, you know, create this canon. But I, I don't know. I just, I didn't think it that, that was that funny. So. We start with everyone being really mad at Mr. Poopy Butthole because he's a drunk and annoying and they don't want him in the house. And uh, they keep trying to tell jokes that are not funny. There's a joke about him needing his his uh, drug dealer who wants to be called a pharmacist. And they all do, is what Beth says. And, and I don't think that's a joke. And then no one wants to pay them. And uh, Je even Je like the point was Jerry was becoming like the new funny character if used in the right circumstances. But again, they didn't use Jerry. They're so obsessed with these other ancillary characters that I'm just not, you know, I don't get it. So anyway, they decide that they can't kick him out. The, the Rick, the, you know, the Smith family, they need Rick to do it. And Rick has made no progress finding Rick Prime. Okay. And so Rick's initial plan is to... <laughs> I mean, the idea of this was funny. I don't know if the execution was. He makes a robot. 
And then he gives the robot business, and then the robot then he kills the robot, so the robot has unfinished business. I like the idea of the joke. I just don't think it was structured properly. So, so he's gonna invent a ghost to scare Mr. Poopy Butthole. Like, it just seems stupid. And then he goes, Well, if there's gonna be an intervention, I'm gonna do it my way, and I'm gonna get my friends. So he gets bird person who has his bird daughter now. Okay, Squanchy, who did not die, Gearface, and some guy named Gene, whose lawnmower will pay off in the end, which I, I it's not, not that funny. Sorry. I, I, again, I, it's just a little aggravating uh, because the show used to be so funny, and there are funny things but whatever so they go to a bar and the bar is called fu and there's a bunch of kind of dumb fu jokes and that's also not funny kind of just cringe and then um instead of deciding to intervene mr booby butthole they just start drinking and they end up at another party the party is full of honey and bees and apparently they're on earth who and hugh jackman is at the honey bee party I just I I'm laughing at it not being funny because I'm just like this isn't funny, and I was like who who would they get to do Hugh Jackman's voice like why would they do that I mean I don't even understand why and Hugh Jackman's like you need if you go to party with Hugh Jackman you have to be without limitations mate you gotta have no limitations whatsoever and uh, we're gonna go to the Jack Shack so they go back to they they have to take pills to go to Hugh Jackman's shack. And um, there's a weird joke about him writing Caribbean Queen. Caribbean Queen. That like that old 80s song. <laughs> and he claims he wrote it. But I, I, I don't know. I don't understand. And then Mr. Poopy Butthole is getting sentimental about his marriage. And Hugh Jackman's like, nah, I'm more upset about my Tony. Like the best moment of his life. Like, uh, okay, whatever. So then... They decide that they're going to, uh, they say Rick's a fake friend and uh, unnecessary drama. They go to his ex-wife's house. There was an important joke where they said that um, Mr. Poopy Butthole hired a predator, a predator PI, to to watch his wife's house because he is a restraining order. Well, she's actually dating the predator investigator now, which was... Oh, I skipped the, f the funny part that made me laugh out loud. At one point, um, they're in the shake. Oh, they go into the inside of a concrete mixer, and I cannot remember what the name of it is. So the concrete mixer, I guess, is full of alcohol. I don't know what it's full of, but they're drinking it. And they're they're like getting sick, and the, and the the one funny joke is that Gene has to go to the bathroom. And he's going in the in the toilet, and then the toilet just falls over and dumps into the the drink that they're all drinking. I was like, "That's gross," but kind of funny. Um, <laughs> they fight. I forget what part. Like they try to have like a, another good joke. It just the jokes just don't land. The voices are just not quite there, or as like Squanchy's not that funny. Like there's that there's a recklessness that I think Justin Roiland brought to the characters, probably because he was drinking while he was doing the show. There was like an edge, and these guys all seem super uptight trying to nail the voices. Like they're just trying so hard to nail the voices, and they're like, "I can't screw this up. I love Rick and Morty." Because you do you don't come up with a Rick and Morty voice if you don't love the show. Right, that's why I do my impressions because I love the show. I think it, you know, at one point I love the show. At this point, I'm again telling you it's mid, and and you might enjoy it. It's not incredibly, it's not bad, it's not great. It just I didn't laugh a lot, and uh, I don't like Mr. Poopy Butthole, so I didn't find it to be that interesting. I did like they fight the predator, and the predator rips off Gear Man's head. And for some reason, sticks his balls in his mouth, and he's like, "Is this my thing now?" I mean, it might have been funnier if like he put his head up his butt. Like, who? I don't know. It was like a callback to a joke that wasn't that funny. Um. Anyway, Mister Booby Butthole learns his lesson, and then there's the post-credit scene. Yeah, Mr. Poopy Butthole, self-actualized. I don't care. And then Gene's lawnmower is destroying the whole city. 
until it kills, you know, one last sheriff who, like, I get some of the callbacks were, like, you know, weird callbacks to things. I just, it just wasn't that funny. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. You you let me know. Was it funny? Am I totally off base? I'm okay with the voices. Like, I feel bad for the guys. They have impossible shoes to fill. They're really close. It wasn't so distracting that it ruined the show. I will 100% say that. The problem with the show is what was the problem with it last season and the season before? Like, it's just not that funny anymore. They're better writers, I guess, have left the show, and you're left with Dan Harmon on his own and some other dreck because whoever's writing it down, I, the, like I said, the show is renowned for its jokes per minute. And now you're just not getting it's not as it's not as clever. It's not it's like trying to play it safe, just like the voice actors who are doing Rick and doing Morty and doing Squanchy. They're just they're just trying to play it safe because they don't want to screw up their nine year hundred million dollar deal. Whatever it is. So let me know what you guys think. Am I totally off base? I could be, but I don't think so in this one. I think I'm dead on. I'm going to keep watching it, keep reviewing it for you guys. Thank you so much for listening. We do appreciate it. Like and subscribe really helps. You don't understand how much it does help. We are on the precipice of greatness. And uh, we're, we have our live streams. They're on 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7.30 Friday nights. Come join us. Come join the party. My partner, New Noob, is there. You will like to interact with him. He's a lot of fun. And we bring the party to you. So... As for myself, I'm on to the next one.